But where we were standing literally 15 years ago was a wall of brush. You could not even see into the site. So like a lot of sites that the Land Conservancy initially acquires or gets a stewardship arrangement on, it was pretty beat up. So we've actually accomplished quite a bit in the last, I'd say, 15 years. One of the things that's unique about the Lurie Meadows is we have pretty much all the habitat types that exist in McHenry County in one relatively small site. And what happens is the, the water that hits the landscape in the upper parts of the slope soaks in. There's a lot of sand and gravel on the highlands it goes down below and it soaks into the ground and eventually runs across the landscape into the wetland. I was out working um, a couple years ago and a woman came by and introduced herself and said, my name is Becky and my father is Chuck. And she said, I used to play out here in my childhood you know, 50 years ago, and she was so excited with what we were doing because it brought back memories of what the landscape used to look like when she was a child playing out here. One of her particular stories was marsh marigolds. She used to harvest little bouquets of marsh marigolds at her mother's request in the springtime. And marsh marigolds grow in our little sedge meadow area that we've cleared. So another example of Kind of if you build it they will come in this case if you build it if you do restoration you'll excite others to do the same thing we're trying to get more people engaged so we do a lot of tours out here and i tell people one of my favorite tours probably my favorite of the year is we host a couple kindergarten classes one of our volunteers buddy Schwalis, is a kindergarten teacher in McHenry. so we bring them out to this little oak peninsula and we have a scavenger hunt and we sing some songs. We sing the oak song. And at the end of the, the visit, we let the kids hug the oak tree. And it's just so exciting to see how they interact with the landscape compared to maybe how I interact with the landscape. I'm looking around and I'm looking for endangered species and they're finding acorns and they're finding roly polies and they're finding frogs and toads. We do a show and tell with them. And at the end of the day, we hug the oak tree. And um, it's really, it's, it's the way we engage our next generation. Kind of similar to, if you look around this oak tree here, the dozens of little oak trees, the burrows around this landscape are all progeny of this one mother oak. So, like the oak tree, we need to be looking to future generations to engage them in what we're doing here in saving the landscape and restoring the landscape, and hopefully coming back years from now with their own kids and enjoying landscapes like this.